Ich komme hier, ne? Tomorrow we're hiking the Grand Canyon and let me see if I can figure out where the route is on that. Okay, yeah. So that valley there goes across. We'll be down in that, I'm pretty sure, and heading over to the far side. It seems to be pretty easy actually. <laughs> yeah. Yep, see the first one that has like a whoop? Mm -hmm. Come down from it. Alright. And then go left and there's like a little like yeah. I think we're going up around here. I don't know what. Four fifteen right now. Um, got up at around four. A little tired, but a little brain fog. Had to redo that take three times. Um, yeah, getting ready to go. Doesn't feel that cold. The temperature's gonna be ninety nine in the at the bottom today. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll beat it. We'll see. There are shuttles here with loads of people. This is going to be a mad madhouse. Just starting the descent. We ran past that giant group. And, uh, yeah. We're just trying to get down to, uh, <coughs> where it's going to be a little warmer. And past where it's going to be a lot warmer later today. Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks good out there. It's people way in the distance. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's little lights all down there. You see that up there? Those people coming down. We're in some, so get my light on higher. That's cool. We're in some sort of tunnel. It's, it's a video, you don't have to stay still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is, let me see, what, do you know what time it is? 521. 521. Left at, at 430, right? 440. 440. Mm -hmm. So we're at the tunnel, wherever that is. Oh, and we just passed by a, a toilet, too. <laughs> it's about 530. Now. Now, when I'm looking at that mountain there, or the wall, that's one of the inner layers of the canyon, I call it. You know how it kind of drops like a cliff, and then it goes a little bit and then drops like a cliff. This is not the top. This is at least one down. I start to see something now. It's about, let me see what time is it. Ah, it's before six o'clock. <laughs> From the temperature or the cliff? Temperature. Okay. <laughs> no, this is good. Yeah. This is going to be a long run to get this, I think, and this is a long run in here. When a donkey goes by, I got to step out there. <laughs> Yeah, my mom. Never seen a plant like that. So it's about 6.30 right now, or somewhere around five-ish miles in. Um, so we've been hiking for almost two hours. And uh, the terrain at this point is very easy, easy to do. Even with the light now, we don't have to watch our steps quite so much. We can look up and around and see everything. But the funny thing is, when you look up, you don't see the top of the canyon because you couldn't see this part of the trail when you were uh, up at the top. So it's being blocked by all the, you know, the mountains and stuff like that. Um, so it doesn't feel like we're in 
a huge deep hole. It just kind of feels like a valley, like a regular valley. And now that we're getting down to regular elevation, the air is all normal compared to what we're used to. And yeah, it's funny. It just doesn't, it, it uh, seems very, uh, very easy to, to, to so far. We'll see how the heat of the day goes and the, the length of it. But so far, so good. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm colorblind, by the way. <laughs> We're just getting our first glimpse of what I think is the far wall, the far wall, or one of the pieces of the far wall, and the finish line, baby, the finish line. It looks like it's hot over there. <laughs> but some sort of thing for the donkeys, I imagine. Oh, well, gotta be, right? Yeah. The oh, the the power lines stopped. Oh, no, they're there. It's just that one, that one post isn't used, but they go up ahead. You can't see them on the film, probably. Lots of water spigots everywhere. So much water on this trail. So we hiked 6.5 five miles at 717 which means we've been hiking two for 40 minutes two hours and 40 for yeah that sounds about right yeah Seems like most of the trail might be kind of like this, where you're. Oh, oh I just kicked a rock. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't be kicking a rock for most of the trail. But anyway, um, most. Uh, what I was gonna say. Uh oh. So we are in like the depth of the canyon. Yeah, okay. And uh, <laughs> Alan really wants me to take his picture. <laughs> okay. The grandest um, of canyons. The grandest of canyons. And look at this like work that they did, like with this, there's like mortared pebbles holding this trail up. It's pretty awesome. We've decided that this has become the grandest of canyons. It's <laughs> earning his name. It's earning his name. Committee's <laughs> death ray. It's about to get us. Right. <laughs> Getting real close now. Not to get into the sun soon. Last moments. Our last moments. Ah! First up to hell. Ah! <laughs> and then you space the cheese. <laughs> 
So we just entered the Phantom Ranch area as a sign slash map told us a second ago. So I'm guessing that's a bathroom probably over there. But this is gonna be interesting. Oh, actually, hold on a second. I got this joke right, I gotta take a picture of every uh, toilet so I can send it to my wife. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we made it to the toilet, yeah. <laughs> Sun is hot, yeah. This is such a weird place. <laughs> I want to go over. I, is there another way over there? Probably. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. Only you will go that way, sir. Oh, I can hear the AC running. Yeah. Dude, is that like an ice cream stand window? Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> this water is unsafe. This is that's your portable. Actually, I need to fill up. Starting off from Phantom Ranch at 1042 after we just stopped and had some lunch and the sun is out. I got my sun shirt on. Still got shorts, but I don't want to get too hot. And uh, yeah, this is where the hike really starts. <laughs> So we're still in the Phantom Ranch area and it looks like each one of those little little areas is a separate campsite at the campground that's associated with Phantom Ranch. I think that is the South Kebab Bridge. There's lots of like construction here and piping and pumps and all sorts of stuff and I thought maybe this had to do with the uh, washout that happened recently, and it, it might. Um, but there's also potentially some of this here just because all of the water for North and South Rim comes from the Colorado, all gets pumped up. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how much of this is normal here and how much is because of that washout that happened recently. But that is a crazy amount of washout if, if this is a result of that. Maybe they had to do some extra digging. How Now, how did they get those down here? <laughs> do you see those? Look at that. <laughs> Up we go. This section here by the uh, river. So basically you have to follow it down a ways until we get to the ravine or whatever that we climb up. And this sand, it's not the whole time like this, but it's, for me, a brutal when it's here. That's some soft stuff, like walking on a beach. Wider. No, like the, the cliff. Like we're walking on this cliffside. <laughs> More heavy machinery up there. It's gotta be dropped in by helicopter. Man, can you imagine a helicopter going around with that thing off a hook? That'd be nuts. So Alan just found a sign that said 7.8 left to the top. We just basically turned off of the um, off of the river, so now we're 
starting the actual climb. Squirrels around here don't have any fear, and they're pokey. <laughs> this is it, the last big, big push. I'm sure there'll be a little bit more up after this, but this is the big push up the wall. You can kind of see, I don't know on the camera if you can see it or not. Let me zoom in. You see those switchbacks? They go right up there. Be about another hour or two up this wall and then catch back up with you and then sitting on it up there here at the 1.5 mile house which is this little shelter up here and we've been going up that wall that i had mentioned earlier and shown you for the past what two hours three hours i don't know it's been a while but it's uh, a little before three i think it's 245 right now and we're almost done. Horrendous though. No, now that we're there, it doesn't look terrible. Final up. Another tunnel ahead of us, huh? Here we go. It's not quite as big as the one we had in the nighttime. <clears throat> Last few steps.